Hey folks, Tony here with Rebel Financial. So thanks for tuning in again today. Um, so my last video, we talked about the fact that there's a reprieve um, on the interest of student loans through August. Uh, this one, I want to dig a little deeper into what the current, you know, what the administration is currently talking about of possible fixes for student loan debt. Okay, it's a hot topic because um, but there's strong opinions on both sides of, sides of this, but it's worth knowing what they're talking about at this point. So. I'm linking the article uh, from Annie Nova at CNBC below because that's where I, I got a lot of this information, or at least the best information, because I found it in other sources as well. But basically, there's going to be a number like 150,000, and it's going to be for people below that that are going to have their debt wiped out. And, it, and I don't even know about wiped out, but they're going to have more forgiveness. There's, gonna, I'm sure, going to be a sliding scale somewhere. Uh, but just put it in perspective, about one third of student loan borrowers make less than 50 grand. I'm sure a lot of those include people who you know, didn't even get their degrees. Uh, another third from 50 to 100,000, and then above that, uh, the other third. The other problem you have is disparity in where you live, right? I mean, $100,000 is a very good living in some areas of the country, and in others, you need $200,000 to get that same level of, uh, of living. And so they're kind of being punished for living in those areas. But I guess um, there's a, there's only so much you can do on this. Um, another aspect of this, and I'll just quickly show this graph because um, it's in the link below. As you can see, the disparity in races and how much is borrowed um, by different races. What I took away from this, I'm, I'm really surprised. I thought many people, more than 50% of everybody, was getting some type of student loan. So I'm a little surprised by this. Uh, but as you can see, it comes from the student aid policy group. Um, but this is also in the article below. So that's a little bit about that. Um, I will I will say this about it. You know, what, what's tough about this is regardless of how you feel about student loan, uh, you know, wiping it out and not, um, is that this is just a band-aid. And that's the worst part of this. I mean, we, we do have a college cost issue. And I always think about the person, if this gets wiped out, let's say over the summer for anybody who has these loans, and you're somebody who's starting college in the fall, you're going to graduate in four or five years with student loan debt, and you're going to be like the, you know, a rarity to have that much debt. It's really going to be a disadvantage. So what are they going to do? Go back and wipe that out? You know, I don't know. Maybe this is a permanent thing. Hopefully they're looking at more of a permanent fix. So that part of it will be interesting as well. Um, and then the political side of this, too, is it's not going to get done in the House and the Senate. Um, there's just not enough support. It's very close, um, but not enough. So this is going to be the solution if there's going to be one. Anyway, as more develops, we'll keep you posted. Um, any comments below? I'd love to see what people have to say about this. Um, if you like the video, uh, go ahead and click that as well. I guess you can dislike it, too, um, even, even though we're just the messenger here. But um, and any other questions, you know, comments, we peek at those. So we'd love to hear from you. Okay. Anyway, until next time, thanks. Take care, folks.